What's up guys, it's your boy, and today I'm going to be giving you six different great protein sources and my favorite protein sources. Six of my favorite, are they are my favorite, um, and I'm doing this because protein is super important when it comes to health, overall health, um, and really important when it comes to building muscle. So it's fitting, since I do fitness content, that I explain some great protein sources that I recommend eating and what I do actually eat. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Number one, in no particular order, these are just six of my favorite, no order. Number one is eggs, uh, specifically whole eggs for me. I personally eat these, like I eat five or six a day when I'm home, at least every day for breakfast. I have them with ground beef if you watched my full day of eating video recently. But eggs, whole eggs are 12% protein and egg whites are 10% protein and 90% water. But I like whole eggs because they're very nutrient rich. They're high in vitamins D and E, and they also include zinc, iron, and more. And that's in the yolk, I believe. So whole eggs are very nutritious, pretty good source of protein, and I recommend including them in your diet. Number two is chicken breasts. Chicken overall, but chicken breasts have 31% protein. They're 31% protein. And they just taste delicious. And if you're looking for a little more of, some people think it tastes better and it's a higher calorie, chicken thighs are a good option too. So chicken thighs are 26% protein. Uh, so they have a little more fat. But they both just taste great. Chicken overall tastes great and it's pretty lean um, and just a great source of protein. And I like to know, I eat a lot of pheasant too. Like I probably had more pheasant than chicken breast over this Christmas break just because I hunt pheasant and I eat what I hunt because I like to do that and they taste fine. So chicken breast, pheasant, uh, the good bird meat, pretty lean, good sources of protein. Next up at number three, we have ground beef. Um, so 90% lean ground beef because you can buy them 80%, 85%, 90%. So 90% lean ground beef is 25% protein, which is pretty good. So the leaner the beef is, the better, the higher protein percentage it is, um, and the lower percentage, like lower lean, the more fat it is. So like a 90% has 25%, and then an 80% lean has 23% protein. Not a huge difference, but you can definitely notice the fat when you eat them. I recently had 80% compared to my normal, I don't know what it is, but the 80% was very fatty, and I didn't really like it, it tasted gross. Um, but it's just a very versatile, source of protein, you can put it in tacos, your eggs, meatloaf, pasta, so many things. And if you just have ground beef on hand, it's a great way to make sure you can include some protein in whatever meal, and even if it needs to be quick, like tacos can be super quick, or you just throw, throw some cheese on this, some nachos or something, good protein right there. Um, and I, I also like the chicken breast and pheasant. I swap this out with deer burger, venison burger, or elk burger often because I, I hunt and I also have friends that hunt, like family that does too and they give me meat and I like, they taste the same to me, all taste good. Those are normally a little leaner than ground beef. Um, so both uh, great sources of protein, ground beef, super versatile, good source of protein. If you don't already include it, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, ground beef so easy to do, but lots of meats are good sources of protein. Ground beef, chicken breast. Coming in at number four, we have whey protein. And whey protein is actually 60% protein, which is very high, uh, the highest yet on the list. Now, uh, I, you can use other protein powders, all protein powders, high protein, because that's what it's meant to be. Uh, but I personally use BPN Sup's whey protein. You can use other brands, but I like this brand, and maybe I'll be sponsored. I'm trying to get sponsored by them soon. Uh, but it tastes great, and it's just really versatile. Protein powder is, you can put it in a lot of foods. Um, and it's really helpful to meet your protein goals. So I always say shoot for one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So during the day you wanna hit that. And I don't rely on protein powder. You should focus on eating your protein in your meats or your eggs or other stuff before you go to the protein powder. But it's a great way to make sure you hit it. I take it most days, honestly. Um, so if that helps you. But you could also do vegan protein. It tastes good too, um, and it's high protein, but it's just a little less percentage than whey protein. And I think I might switch to vegan protein just to see if I'm a little lactose intolerant and vegan would be better for me. We'll find out. I also like it taste a little more, kind of. Um, 
But I mentioned all this in my supplements video, so if you haven't watched that, it'll be up on the screen here. I go through all the supplements I take and why, so I'll give that a check and uh, let's get into the next food. At number five, we have nothing. Just kidding. It's uh, Greek yogurt. I didn't have any in the fridge, but I normally have it every morning at college in my dorm because it's an easy thing to eat. But Greek yogurt is 10% protein, and I use the Oikos Triple Zero. That's what I normally have. It tastes good, and that's where I got the 10% protein from. Uh, so it just tastes great. It's like a treat, honestly. It's like a, a healthy dessert. If you throw some mixed berries in there or something, and then you have a healthy dessert, and it's pretty low calorie, higher protein. So Greek yogurt's pretty versatile too, and I just like it a lot. If you get straight up plain Greek yogurt, it has slightly more protein percentage, but not much. So unless you're mixing something into it, I would not suffer through the plain Greek yogurt. I'd get some flavored, like the Oikos Triple Zero. That's what I do. Now at number six, we have my favorite of the list, peanut butter. If you know me, I love peanut butter, and it's because it tastes delicious, and it's a pretty good source of protein, so it makes me justify eating it, and I put it in my oatmeal, my smoothies, whatever, a lot of stuff. Sometimes I'll just have a spoonful, but peanut butter is 22% protein, so pretty high, honestly. It's also pretty high calorie. Note that it's calorically dense, so it's very useful for bulking, and make sure you get in enough calories uh, because it's calorically dense with some fats and it's just a pretty good protein source too. And it's really easy to add to things, shakes, oatmeal, uh, smoothie, etc. Uh, and other nut butters and nuts are also good high protein typically. Just check the label to make sure. But peanut butter, my favorite. I love it. Have it like every day, honestly. Um, it just tastes delicious. Pretty good protein source. And that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you give these foods and protein choices a chance. Um, maybe I'll make a vegan one sometime. I'm personally not a vegan, but I could try to look for some good vegan protein sources and let you guys know. Let me know if you'd want that with a comment down below. Uh, yeah, drop a like, subscribe. That always helps me out a lot. All the likes, comments, subscribes helps me get noticed to other people and keep growing. And eventually I can start making money from this maybe and this gives me a reason to keep helping you guys and I like doing it so I'm not gonna stop but drop a like subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video I love you goodbye Ooh.